All right, testing, testing. Yep, that's working. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the year. You know, school is almost over. Let me know when your last day of school is, guys. Or if you're already out of school. Because if you are, then the timing of this video would be a little awkward. Ah, but anyways, finally, summer is around the corner. We can rest, no more homework, no more dealing with teachers. Hold up, hold up. Wait, what, bro? I'm filming. Dude, we can't just leave school yet. There's one more thing we gotta do. And what is that? <laughs> <laughs> exams. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was writing about the end of the school year, it had me thinking of all of the things we had to do before getting to that sweet victory line. And one of those things are the final tests. Hold, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before I continue, I actually had a quick announcement. Your boy is streaming on YouTube now. Yes, sir. I decided to switch platforms. I'll be going live on the revamped streaming channel called Orchada Streams, formerly known as Orchada Clips. We'll always remember you, you kind soul. So check out the channel, subscribe, and become a member. And my first stream will be this Friday, so come say hi. Anyways, now let's continue the story. I still can't believe I haven't talked much about tests on this channel. Cause geez, I would say this in the best way possible, tests and exams build character. And one of my high school math teachers, his class was super hard and anxiety inducing. And it wasn't because the material itself was hard, nah, no. It was because tests made 90% of your grade. 90%. Don't you understand how crazy that is? I, I wish I could make this up. All of my friends were so nervous when we heard that news. And my guy would barely check our homework. Mister, so what if I do bad on a test? Well then study harder for the next one. Will there be any extra credit? Extra credit? <laughs> I'm actually getting flashbacks thinking about this. I don't know if this is good for my mental health. I would always try to study for tests. And there are so many different ways that people study for exams. The first is the guy who actually looks at the book. You know, they're taking their time, making index cards. They actually have a good chance of passing. Next, we have the skimmer. That's the person who waits to the very last minute and studies for five seconds. Here we go, and... That's enough studying. And finally, we have the person who just doesn't study at all. Maybe they already know the material, or they just don't care about failing. It's one or the other, never in between. However, the night before my math test before this particular class, <laughs> I would pull all-nighters. Cause knowing that these tests were 90% of my grade, I cared a little bit more than the average class. I would play some lo-fi music, reread all of the material. I would even cover the answers of the book and quiz myself. I really felt like I was killing it though. And every Everybody would study like a madman for these tests. Cause out of nowhere, I get a message on my phone. It was my buddy Josue and he was freaking out. He wanted me to study with him. Or let's actually clarify, he wanted me to help him. But I would end up popping on calls with him so we can go over the material together. And as the night progressed, we would actually add more and more people from the class to these phone calls. And if that isn't commitment, I don't know what is. All right, scene change. Let's go. The next day, I'm fired up. I'm ready to take this test. Ah, uh, we got this. We got this. Oh, I'm hyping myself up. But the minute that packet hits my desk, I forget everything. Ah, uh, come on, Jorge. Snap out of it. I try to remember what the hell I studied the night before. My teacher is timing us, and every 10 minutes that pass, he gives us a heads up. 40 minutes left, guys. No way 20 minutes have passed. And everybody goes at different paces on the test. Like, for example, the person to my left will be flying through all of these questions. Huh. <laughs> Must be nice. I then look to my other side and another kid has his whole head down. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to give up. <laughs> At least I'm not like him. And then there's me. I've only done like three questions. The only ones I knew out of 20. And one of those questions was my name. 30 minutes left, guys. Oh man. I'm ready to give up. And as I look around the class, I see Josue. And he has his test flipped over and his hands are folded. Josue. You're finished already? Nah, I just gave up. I don't even want to look at the questions anymore. Hey, no talking. Sorry. I'm on the verge of tears until out of nowhere we get a spark of hope. Because ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to former student syndrome. That means when someone who graduated a long time ago comes back to their old school to visit. And all the older teachers start freaking out because they haven't seen that student in years. Well, when we were taking this test, a former student walks into the classroom. Hey, mister. Wait, Tyler? Is that you? My my math teacher freaks out and gets up from his seat. They start talking and head out of the room. Yeah, my teacher left us by ourselves. And the second us students noticed the teacher leaving the room and he closed the door, 
Oh, it's number five. Let me see your work. Anyone have the answer to 14? 128. Thank you. You gotta love former student syndrome. Because I even saw Josue flip his paper around to the right side and started filling in answers that he would hear. But all good things must come to an end. Hey, the teacher's coming back. Everyone, quiet. Hey, don't hate the player. Hate the game. And shout out to that former student, Tyler. You know who you are. When the teacher came back, however, I'm almost done with the test. But I just needed to do the final question. But this question, however, it was the multiple choice or fill in the blank. It was a problem where we had to show our work. And those were hands down the worst problems. I had this friend Carlos and he would never ever show his work. I guess he was really good at mental math and just already knew the answers. But the teacher did not like that at all. He would actually deduct points. So from the corner of my eye when I see Carlos get to that final question, damn it man. <laughs> I heard him say that under his breath, and I would not stop laughing. Hey, Jorge, no laughing. Oh, sorry. Ten minutes left, guys. Oh, and those final minutes were brutal. Because either you were done and you're chilling, or that's when your fight or flight mode activates and you start rushing through this test. Anyways, enough distractions in my head. I then remember that I have to finish this final question on the test. I start solving the problem and slowly get to my answer. However, I sense something right behind me. I then turn around quickly and I see my friend Matt put his head down immediately. And I notice that he is staring at my paper. Anytime I'd lift my pencil and write something, I would notice he would lift up his pencil and start writing something. And when I would stop, he would stop. And I was never really bothered by people who would cheat off of me. However, a week before, I remember asking Matt if he was down to study together. And that boy said no. So I was thinking, hmm. Should I play the petty game? I put my pencil down and start doing the problem mentally in my head. Oh, my brain is going a million miles and I notice Matt freaking out behind me. You guys have 60 seconds. Jorge, do you know the answer? Be quiet, Matt. Oh, my head is about to explode doing all of these mental calculations. Come on, carry the one, carry the one. Apparently I was really loud because the whole class starts staring at me. And right when there's five seconds left for the test, <laughs> I don't have anything. Yeah, my brain couldn't do that much mental math. Hey, at least I got 19 out of 20 questions filled out. And if I don't have the answer, neither should have Matt. Damn. Yeah, I guess I was really petty. Test really altered my brain chemistry. Yes, sir. Hold on. Before I end the video, I just wanted to quickly show you guys my streaming setup. Super random, I know. But if you're watching this video the day it came out, then tomorrow's gonna be my first stream on YouTube. And your boy's really excited. All right. Testing, testing. Here we go. Ta-da. <laughs> what do you think? What do you guys think? Yes, sir. This is what's gonna look like when I'm streaming. I'm really excited. You know, there's gonna be gameplay too. Is Fall Guys dead? I don't know if it is. But yeah, after the stream, I'm going to be getting clips and putting those on the streaming channel. And another cool thing, I'm able to get those highlights and turn them into YouTube shorts. Yes, sir. I'm really excited. Anyways, hopefully you guys can tune in tomorrow to the stream. I'm trying to hit 100k subscribers by the end of June on the streaming channel. So subscribe. And also, you can become a member. And if you're a member for a certain period of time, then you will unlock the golden horchata. And that'll be an icon right next to your name all across the streaming channel. Yes, sir. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, snap. I hit the, I hit the mic.